So this is my new trailer. Just picked it up on Craigslist. $250. Uh, I added a, a safety chain to it. It's one and seven eighths uh, ball. And there's this post right here, which is in the way of how I'm gonna have my boat. So the boat's gonna come on. I'm gonna put uh, indoor outdoor carpet on. It's gonna come up here. And the bow is going to hit this post here. So I just bought a $5 hacksaw from Walmart. And I was able to cut it off. So it's, uh, it's smooth now. It's not going to rub up against the boat. Um, the lights are good. This board over here was loose. So I bolted it down. And now I'm going to glue indoor outdoor carpet on it uh, so that my boat can just slide up on it real easy and not uh, get stuck on any splinters or anything. I'll show you that now. I'm using this indoor outdoor adhesive again uh, by Roberts. Roberts 6700 Superior. And this is the indoor outdoor carpet I am using. It's pretty soft. Um, soft enough. I I'm going to glue it down. Check it out. I'm going to glue it down onto this deck, and that will be um, just enough protection for my vinyl boat uh, PVC material to slide up on. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, I actually decided against gluing it, um, probably just because I was lazy, but I ended up just screwing it down. Uh, and that seems to be pretty good. I don't need it super tight. I mean, it's going to have a boat on it the whole time. It's never really going to go down the road without the boat on it. Um, I guess unless somebody's picking me up. I don't know. It's something to consider. So, there it is. It's actually a little longer than eight feet. Um, probably eight and a half. It's about five and a half feet wide. Uh, it's actually a custom made trailer I think this trailer is really just meant to be honestly I think it was just meant to be 4x6 and this guy built this raised platform on top of it uh, <laughs> I haven't really inspected the uh, the quality of his welding work but um, we'll figure it out as we go down the road so indoor outdoor carpet uh, screwed down into the uh, two by sixes that are underneath, and now I'm gonna put I'm gonna inflate the boat and uh, put it on. Let's float away with the Tennessee pirate, no shirt, no shoes. We don't require. Cast your cares away with the Tennessee Pirate. Well, here it is. The old Seahawk 4 on my new custom flatbed trailer. I love it. I set it up backwards so that I could easily inflate it because the nozzles are back here, these valves, these little Boston valves. Um, three different chambers, as you all know. One on the floor, the second one here, the third one here. Uh, this redundancy is nice if any one chamber um, fails, uh, the other two will keep you afloat. And I have had personal experience with that. You can see the video in the link below. So this is real nice. It's about a five foot uh, wide boat. It's just under 12 feet long. And the trailer is five and a half feet wide and eight and a half feet long. Um, so I think it fits just perfectly. I might 
Uh, you know, I might turn it around while driving. I don't know. Um, if I ever have to inflate it more, you know, I've got something that attaches to the car. And uh, that little motor will inflate it real easy. But it's too long if I'm already hooked up to the trailer. So maybe I'll inflate it and then hook up to the trailer. Or maybe I'll just inflate it with the hand pump that they provide. Um, that Intex provides. Uh, gosh, I just love this thing. It makes it so much easier. When you want to go out in the water, you don't have to spend... Um, you know, an hour inflating, setting up, installing the floor, putting the motor in, putting the battery in, and putting all your gear in. You can do all of that from here at home. I'm just going to leave it all inflated the whole time. I'm going to leave the floor installed the whole time. Um, and I'm probably going to keep some gear in it, like a life jacket and uh, maybe a, a seat or something. Um... But, man, I throw my cooler in, I put the battery and the motor in, I drive out to the lake, and I back it in. I slide it right off the edge, down the ramp, and it works perfectly. I'm in the water within 10 minutes of arriving at the lake. And that makes the whole experience much more enjoyable. So, appreciate you guys watching. I hope I documented enough to give you some ideas on how you can you know possibly modify your setup to make it easier to take a, a big boat like this about 11 and a half feet out in the water quickly and easily to make the whole experience more enjoyable um i know i for one i'm gonna have tons of fun with this thanks for watching